Welcome back to RimWorld, Episode 5, Season 2 of Alpha 9. We're under attack. There are there are quite a few of them. I don't think I'm I don't think I'm too scared. What is up with your hair, buddy? It's not a helmet. Oh it is. It's a psychic foil helmet. <laughs> Okay, a thin helmet containing finely tuned sheets of psychically absorbative foil reduces the impact of psychic events. Okay, well, sure. Whatever you gotta do. Uh, looks like we'll be getting some armor vests, hopefully, and some Kevlar helmets. There's another armor vest, another armor vest, and yeah. Uh, weapons, real quick survival rifles, two of them, an assault rifle, that would be pretty good. Sniper, pistol, survival, EMP. Okay. Well, yeah, it said they wanted to siege, so let's see how true that is. Uh, not sure where they're going to set up, I guess, in this. Oh, that's actually pretty good. We have a nice area of engagement over here. We could probably pull Prissy back here with her sniper rifle. And maybe have the SMG and PDW guys up here along this wall. Maybe Collier firing in from over here. Uh, yeah, we're pretty much not going to take it. Real quick, wanted to make sure one of them, yep, one of them has a sniper, Megumi. Hopefully they'll see one of us and get kind of excited and decide they want to attack, but we're just going to speed up time for the moment. Uh, I will go ahead and draft everyone, pull them over here. Okay. So, let's check everyone out first. Um, yeah, we're going to come in from this way over here. You guys can go ahead and walk that way. I want you guys to go this way. I really wish you could shift click to queue up waypoints, but you can't. Are you guys trying to get a shot off or are you just watching perimeter defense? Okay, that's acceptable. All right, so Stanton and Porthos. Stanton has the heavy SMG. So let's bring the two of them up through here. Uh, Prissy will go hang out behind this wall up here. Collier, we will move probably here-ish. And Bad Luck can go over here for right now. And let's see, can Collier get a shot off from here? No? I'm worried about their sniper. Okay, so let's move her up a little bit. Let's keep moving her up a little bit. I wanted to get a shot off on that sniper. Okay. Can she... Nope, out of range for him. Okay, well, she's going to start firing at someone. We'll move Collier up here to these rocks. Uh, Porthos with his pistol can come up here. Stanton with the SMG can come up here as well. Collier can now get some shots off. There's bad luck. I don't want to run him in just yet. It's a good shot. All right, we're going to pull her back. And Stanton is going to come right here, and he should be able to shoot Calligan. Porthos, I want to leave there for right now. We'll move him up here. I want you to take him out. Stanton's getting some shots off. Alright, he's down. Stanton can still get some shots off from here. Chimp's done. Foil hat guy is gone. Porthos is going to kind of hold this wall for the time being. Uh, Prissy, can you shoot at him? Nope, cannot hit target. I guess because of the tree or something. Let's make sure she's okay. Her jaw. Ow. Um, who had the Gilbert is the one with the assault rifle. We definitely want to take that assault rifle out. So I'm going to pull Porthos back. Put Stanton up here. Maybe peek around that corner. Nice. Okay, we got him. Let's move Stanton back around the corner. That shell is... Oh. Hey, we got it built. <laughs> <laughs> I totally didn't even notice that we got that built. Alright, uh, I think it's time to go ahead and move Collier back up here a little bit. Prissy's okay. Uh, McCann's going to take... No, go go back around the corner. Alright, so she can get some shots off. Alright, uh, they're just flat out assaulting now. So we're going to put Stanton back here. Porthos is going to be up here on the corner. And bad luck is, I'm thinking, going to go rush... Their sniper or no? Gonna go rush that guy because Prissy. I want you to engage him. Okay, let's see how this goes. 
Everyone's moving into positions. He's down. They're running. That's right. It's because you saw bad luck. That's what happened. You're like, ah! Alright, seriously though. <laughs> you can stop chasing him. Alright, let's get everyone undrafted. They can go get their medical attention. They can go get sleep. And let's see what we got. Um, bad luck, if you could do me a favor and bring him and who else is over here? Porthos. Bring him with you. Alright, so we did get a an assault rifle. Poor quality. Not super accurate, so we might end up selling that. Hopefully there will be some sort of um, upgrade or repair system soon. Normal quality survival rifle, that's good. Let's get the meals, we got some more meals, we got some more shells, we got a good amount of metal. Uh, let's check their gear real quick. Nothing important, so you guys can just be marked to be buried. We'll use your wood to deconstruct that because we don't need it. And I believe our prisoners are the ones with, oh, whoa, with the armor vests. I'll have to check once they get put down. Uh, wooden wall. Yes, please. That was unfortunate. And we also need to set up the power to our generator right here. And I will wall that area off as well. Alright, let's check these guys out real quick. McCann, no, but Gilbert did have an, have an armor vest. I wish you could just take off part of it. You feed him and then make him naked, please. Alright, uh, you definitely get the armor vest because you're the melee guy. We have a group visiting, so that's okay. And let's check out our prisoners real quick. Uh, you know, you're not that great at stuff. Trigger happy, depressive, psychically sensitive. I'm I'm not interested in you at all. I'm sorry, Gilbert. Uh, health, let's check you out real quick. Your right arm is just gone. Uh, I don't think you're going to make it, and I'm sorry, but I'm not going to waste medicine on you. McCann, uh, right leg. You got shot in the heart, and you're still alive. I kind of want him, or her, sorry. Just because, you know, she got shot in the heart and lived. Uh, but seeing her stats, I don't really care about you either. So, yeah. You guys probably aren't going to make it. Let me go ahead and set up some more graves because we'll need them. If I remember correctly, the rounded part is opposite the headstone. We'll just go ahead and do that. All right, uh, Collier, let's check your health out. Just the jaw shot. Stanton, shattered rib, that's unfortunate. Uh, someone does need an arm. I believe it's Jay. Yeah, he needs a prosthetic arm or something, or a bionic arm. All right, so we have lots of power now, hopefully. Yep. And we will need to wall this off as well to protect it so I kind of want to wait until we have some blocks I'm gonna set up some bills for some blocks let's do this one I only want to be this one will be my granite and do it forever search radius of 20 and add another one this one will be our limestone do it forever. Search radius of 20. Okay, and the reason I'm only putting it as 20 is because this will be our little stock area, so hopefully it'll get filled up. And then they will work off that. And then after all of that is done, they can do the other ones. Whatever's left. Search radius of, we'll put you as 40. 40? 40. There we go. And do forever. Uh, that way, we'll kind of keep our piles clean, have some bricks for trading. Uh, but I do want the granite done first. That way I can build this area up. So who is our crafter? We have Collier, who will probably not have time, and Bad Luck, the henchman. You can help with that stuff too.
All right, well, it seems like things are going pretty well. I'm still trying to decide if I want to use that poor quality assault rifle or just go ahead and sell it. Uh, I believe Porthos just has the pistol. Yeah, you can have the normal quality survival rifle because I believe you're pretty good at shooting. Yeah, you're a nine at shooting. Okay. And also, he's a slow poke, so giving him the rifle will kind of help out a little bit. I may even take Prissy's sniper rifle and give it to him. That way, the sniper, I mean, they just got a setup in the back, so it'll always work out because he's the slowest one. Now, I would like to give them some sort of flowers or something in here, but I'm not sure where to put it. I'm not sure that they even care. I don't even know what we're researching. Pneumatic picks, okay. Working on the stonecutter's bench, I set up some, I set up a bill. So we have 150, so that'll leave 50 for us in these two little stockpiles here, and then 100 for trading. And the hops got planted as well. And we do need to, let's go ahead and plan out this area quickly. So I wanna leave a gap of one all the way around. The door I'll probably put just like right there. So that'll be the door. Uh, actually, I'll put it there. And then we have. I don't know why I did that. Alright, so now we need security for this side. Now, the good thing about leaving that turret right here is that it can still fire out this way and we can set up people on these corners to kind of just pull them in this little funnel area and then once they get here the turret will be able to open up but the bad thing is they'll be right next to it before the turret will even start firing on them uh... it's home region this area over here please please and thank you Hmm, so we could have another little turret here, and then I guess just maybe some sandbags, or just a turret here and a turret here. Uh, that way we'll have some sort of home defense as well as perimeter defense. I think we'll probably do that, so we can put, uh, we can put a turret here, actually we'll put it here. And then we'll sandbag the area around it, and then we'll put another turret over here, probably. Like here. What's going on? The local boar has gone mad. This one? Attacking Stanton. Alright, well let's wait for him to get a little bit closer. Chrissy will draft. Porthos will draft. Boar's coming in. chrissy has got it in her sights. Porthos does as well. Both of you are amazing shots. There you go. Alright, Porthos, start running away because you're fat and slow. Okay, Prissy, start. Or don't. Or don't run away when I tell you to. It's okay. Everyone, everyone come this way. Stanton, if you wouldn't mind, come save the day, please. Keep running. Keep running right past Stanton. Everyone's a really good shot here. Here in Haven, we strive for excellence. Let's pull Stanton back. Please. Please. Or don't. Okay. I hate all of you. I'm just going to go ahead and say that. I, I, I hate all of you. Uh, yeah. You got shot by the survival rifle and the turrets. And you were scratched. Okay, yeah, whatever. Porthos. I want you to go punch the board to death, please. You can't be trusted. You shot Stanton. That's not good. No, I, I want you to haul him. Take him away. <sighs> Alright, well... I'm going to work on getting some stone blocks built and then building up this little wall around here 
and we will eventually have our pathways getting worked on once we are done with the slate uh, we'll work on the limestone pathways there used to be limestone here I'm not sure where it went I guess we already turned it into blocks uh, yeah and I'm also gonna work on our security as well with the two turret placements pretty sure I just said that uh, yeah so I'll see you in a bit all right I thought I'd bring you back to show you guys this a large piece of an ancient ship has crashed nearby your colonists can feel it in the back of their mind exhorting unspeakable acts it must have an onboard AI persona with psychic projection ability and this AI is not friendly destroy it as soon as possible let's check out where it is uh, that's kind of unfortunate because I don't know that we are ready for that militarily speaking um, the area of engagement looks okay I might do some prep by mining out some of these areas that way we have some little uh, portals to shoot through but these are usually dangerous uh, if you're new they contain mechs which can be quite deadly uh, usually they have at least one or two centipedes inside I've never seen more than two but I've always seen at least one and these centipedes are pretty much tanks they are slow and they are super super durable and they have really hard-hitting weapons the smaller scyther ones aren't too big of a deal usually but their weapons can pack a pretty good punch uh, so we can probably set up some sort of containment area over here with some sandbags mine out some of the walls something like that uh, it's probably what we're gonna end up having to do I did get our turrets built in this little area over here and I'm working on getting the room around this geothermal plant uh, constructed it seems like it's doing fine in the rain that doesn't mean that it won't short out soon but like I said before, I've never left one outside, and I'd rather not chance it. So I'm going to go ahead and wall it up. And if anything, I mean, it's at the the outer perimeter of our colony right now, so I'd rather have it not get destroyed by fire or something like that. Um, I may even have... I might have bad luck stay here and ask for help from one of the other colonies. So I'll go engage them and ask for help and see if they come up to this area and help out. Um, I did do a bit of training so I got rid of most of the clothing that was in our storeroom. I believe I forgot to mention that. Uh, yeah. So I think with some of that extra money I will actually call the other colonies once Prissy wakes up and have them see if they can come help. Uh, I'll give them some silver as a gift. Hopefully eventually you can give them other gifts like maybe food, maybe booze. That would be cool. Alright, let's have her... Historian's Ridge. They're the ones that have helped us before. Let's check them out. Uh, they are negative 21 goodwill. That's not good. We will gift them 600 silver. And it doesn't look like we can call them for aid right now, which is unfortunate. I'll give them another 300 just to see if that does anything. And we'll call them back to see if that like refreshes anything. Nope, it doesn't. Maybe you can only call for help once you're in combat. That could be the case. Alright, let's uh let's try to get this area prepared. Hopefully we don't get attacked by whoa. Is that snow? It is snow. That's creepy. Um hopefully we don't get attacked by pirates while we're getting this area sorted out. So what I'm thinking is maybe we can dig out something like this that way we'll have a little area to shoot in through something along those lines and we'll have little that'll give us two little holes to shoot out of uh, with full cover and we can even do more up here as well so let's take this out and then we'll do these two as well and Prissy can probably hit from back here and we will also do sandbags once all of that gets mined out yeah pneumatic picks are finished okay let's see what else we can get um, I might do the hospital beds next there so we'll have at least one hospital bed I was also thinking about carpet making that way I could make their rooms look a little bit nicer 
I think the hospital bed would probably be a little bit more beneficial for the time being. But yeah, we're going to work on getting this area set up, and I'm going to guess probably in the next episode we will see if we can tackle it. I might honestly even run power uh, power cable all the way up here with a turret if I can get enough steel. We don't have any steel left over from uh, building this section with all the power. Uh, combat suppliers passing nearby. Prissy, that means you wake up right now. Let's see what we got. Okay, let's get her the poor quality assault rifle, the EMP grenades. I really want to keep them for this fight, but at the same time, you have to be so close to throw them. And I was thinking about it, and I don't think it's going to be worth it. I think someone will probably die before they even get a grenade off. Uh, so we'll sell our pistols because we're doing pretty well in weapons right now. And we'll get rid of the arty shells because I'm not planning on doing mortars. That superior sniper rifle is very tempting. Um, the armor vests, not so much. The medicine, again, that's a good price. We have 35 on stock. We might need more. The sniper rifle. It's super accurate. That's really tempting to buy that. Maybe give it to, uh, maybe Porthos instead of that survival rifle. Hmm. I don't know, it's, it's a hard call. It's a lot of money. And if we get a bulk goods trader, I mean, that's... We wouldn't be able to get any steel from them. So we'd have to go long distance mining. Uh, we don't really need too much steel at the moment, though. So that is the other thing. And we could research the machine tables. That way we could break down the mechs. If we do win, we can break them down for supplies. I think we're going to get the sniper rifle. Yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to be broke. But I think it'll be worth it. Now let's check to make sure. He's at 9. He's our melee. J, J is at 8. 9. 7. 11. I kind of want to keep him as a sort of close range defensive fighter. I think I'm going to go ahead and give Porthos the sniper rifle. And then we will work on building up a defensible area up here. I'll actually switch my research over to the machine table as well. Alright, so this room got done, which is great. You can see it's it's pretty warm in there. It's 60 outside. It's, yep, whenever that thing goes off, 120. All right, 140. That yeah, that's a warm room. You can you can see it keeps getting warmer, but it is keeping our power completely full, which means that once we get some extra steel, I will build some more batteries. I'll go ahead and queue those up actually. And I did set our pathways, some of them to be done with the uh, limestone. And since we're done with the slate at the moment, I will... And I did accidentally set this as granite, but I switched it back over to slate. This should be our limestone. I will move the limestone chunks up first. And then this stockpile, I actually want to make sure... I only want you to be slate and limestone. A group is visiting the colony. Porthos is doing some mining up here. That snow is creeping me out. I feel like maybe we shouldn't attack it yet, but at the same time, it's it's going to start making the animals go crazy, and they're going to start attacking us, and our colonists are going to get grumpy about it, and all sorts of stuff. And I, I do think this is going to be a nice little setup right here. This far as cover goes. I think that's probably our best option is doing something like that. But that will be something that we will worry about in the next episode. We keep getting... Ooh, Slave Trader. Do they have anything good? Apparently we had enough steel to build those batteries. Um, I'm looking for prosthetic arm for Jay still. 
I will actually sell you this. Or, no, I'll keep it for now. All right. Uh, and yeah, that medicine is way too expensive. So that's going to be the end of this episode. I'm just going to keep working on building up our base, building up this little area up here. That way we can defend it a little bit better. Probably put some sandbags in there. Um, and maybe mine out a fallback position or two. Might even mine out this area right here and then try to funnel them into it. Uh, that's another thing that I might try as well. Uh, yeah. So I'm just going to keep working on the base. And that's going to be the end of this episode. So hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and have a good one.